This is the newly redesigned Camus LC100 pedals. It's the company's flagship low-tail pedal set that packs a throttle, brake, and a clutch pedal along with a base plate all for $260. I've spent the last several weeks running this as my main pedal set and now I'm ready to give you all my thoughts on it, telling you all the good, the bad, and whom these might be for. And keep in mind that if you are interested in making a purchase, you can take 5% off your order using code OCSIMRACING at checkout. It helps me keep pumping out these videos while giving you a nice discount. Anyways, with all that said, let's get started with the review. Looking for great deals on sim racing hardware? Make sure to check out simspots.com where all of the best deals on sim racing, PC, and gaming peripherals are posted daily. Literally, the site is completely free to use, free of ads, and just lets you know of discounted sim racing hardware for you to save some cash. Get into sim racing or upgrade your gear today at simspots.com. Sent over to me by Camus for review, the LC100 actually provides a lot of value for its price point, especially when looking at the competition in the market. Starting with their build quality, it's very commendable. It's made almost entirely of metal and I found no flex in any of the pedal arms or plates. From a design perspective, all three pedals look nearly identical with the same steel pedal arms and metallic casing found on all three. The main differences are going to be the additional damper on the brake, the control box integrated into the throttle, and of course, the different positions and colors of the springs. The pedal faces are made entirely of metal and have had significant thought put into them, however, they have a big flaw. With no rounded edges and the metallic pedal faces having a lot of cutouts for different mounting positions, I did find them uncomfortable to use with socks, especially when heel-toe downshifting where my foot would be hitting against the rough edges of the throttle. <laughs> Moreover, the finish of these pedal faces isn't necessarily smooth, meaning that with socks I can't comfortably glide my foot around, and it forced me to be using shoes for any long race stints, something I don't usually like to do. Ultimately though, these pedal faces are not bad. They have no flex, they look decent, and will provide you with significant mounting versatility. So I believe this presents a perfect opportunity for Camus to sell optional pedal faces separately, more geared towards users who race with socks or barefoot and want a more premium and smooth finish. Now moving on to the pedal plate, a big oversight is found here. The metallic pedal plate features several mounting inserts for you to adjust the side to side and forward and back position of all three pedals individually. However, in order to actually attach these pedals onto the plate, you must bolt them down from the bottom, meaning that when it's all put together, you'll have these bolts sticking out from beneath. Unfortunately, this means that if you are mounting this onto a typical cockpit pedal plate, you won't be able to do so. As such, this will only be able to be used with sim racing cockpits that don't rely on a flat mounting plate for the pedals, something which isn't too common. The good news is that if you are in this situation, you don't actually need this pedal plate at all, as you can independently and more freely mount all three pedals as you wish, something which I did and I was very happy with. As a result, I believe Camus should consider selling this pedal plate as an optional accessory, making users who don't need it pay a little bit less. Now moving on to the pedal specifically, let's start with the throttle. As standard, I found the throw and resistance of this pedal to be very comfortable and very much to my liking. However, if you do prefer more resistance or more travel or vice versa, those changes are available by adjusting the position of the spring. I found the various changes to be quite drastic, and unlike much higher end pedals, you won't be able to make minimal and fine tuned changes, something which is expected at this price point. Ultimately though, I did find the throttle to be great for my personal preference, and the Hall Effect sensor had remained accurate and reliable so far. Now moving on to the clutch pedal, it's very similar to the throttle in terms of both design and functionality, with the main difference being that it comes with a stiffer spring. Unfortunately, the clutch pedal isn't anything revolutionary, it features a complete linear traveling mechanism with no system to depict a clutch bite point, something which I can understand. Regardless of that, its performance on track left me with little to complain about.
out. It too uses a Hall effect sensor and can have both its travel and resistance significantly adjusted. With its strong spring, it does have a very firm rebound, something which I would prefer to be a little bit more subtle. This presents another big opportunity for Camus as they could sell optional springs and dampers to offer even more fine tuning, more precise than what's currently in store. Overall though, the clutch pedal did its job, giving no flex or issues out on track and staying consistent throughout. Moving on to the brake pedal, a 100kg Lotso brake is found here along with an adjustable damper. One of the things I liked about it is that, unlike many high performance pedals, it actually allowed me to set a medium to light resistance on it, something I personally like as it closely mimics the feeling of my real world cars. Conversely, a very stiff configuration can also be set, however, one thing that I did not like was the spongy feeling of the damper when set at a high resistance setting. This is something I only noticed when testing various pedal configurations at the higher strengths, but thankfully not something that I had to deal with as I ran the damper at a much lower setting. So as for me, this brake pedal has done a really good job, especially again considering its price. The versatility is big as it will suit different preferences, but similarly to the other two pedals, it won't give you that extremely precise adjustability that you will find when spending more. So, all put together, this pedal set provided good on-track performance. Wearing shoes, I felt comfortable heel-toe downshifting and being aggressive with my inputs. The Hall effect and load cell sensors were always precise, and some further adjustability could be done in the Camus software, albeit nothing you haven't seen before. So all in all, considering the price tag for this pedal set and what it offers, it is actually pretty easy for me to recommend. As I've pointed out, it's certainly not perfect and there are opportunities for Gamus to offer solutions, but overall, it's a pedal set that I'll be using for the time being. And if you are interested in seeing the rest of the gear that I'm using, check out my website where I've outlined all of the gear making up my rig. Anyways, with all that said, this has been my review on the Camus LC100 pedals. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comments, and as always, thank you all for watching, stay safe, and have a fantastic rest of your day.